Good morning, everyone. It's Thursday, June 10th, 2021. And I welcome you to our weekly Psalm uh, reflection. This morning, I'm going to use a portion of Psalm 71. It's verses 1 to 9. That's Psalm 71, verses 1 to 9. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be ashamed. In your righteousness, deliver me and set me free. Incline your ear to me and save me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe. You are my crag and my stronghold. Deliver me, my God, from the hand of the wicked, from the clutches of the evildoer and the oppressor. For you are my hope, O Lord God, my confidence since I was young. I have been sustained by you ever since I was born. From my mother's womb, you have been my strength. My praise shall be always of you. I have become a portent to many, but you are my refuge and my strength. Let my mouth be full of your praise and your glory all the day long. Do not cast me off in my old age. Forsake me not when my strength fails. So Psalm 71 verses 1 to 9 is just a portion of the psalm. But it, it, it's a beautiful psalm of reaching out to God. You know, what you could hear the, the uh, need in the voice of the psalmist. You know, Lord, I've been seeking you out all my life from even from the moment I was born or even before I was born in my mother's womb you have been my strength you know in you O oh Lord I have taken refuge let me never be ashamed you know we take refuge in God we seek God's strength direction protection and you know when the psalmist says let me never be ashamed it's, it's kind of saying like like don't let me down God don't let me go don't let me down I've, I've been seeking you for you are basically my whole life you are the one who provides me safety you are the one who sustains me you are the one who literally gives me the breath of life so let me never be ashamed let me never say to anyone that you're not with me that you you've abandoned me so seeking God you know, we're seeking God as, as our refuge is so important because we go through so much in life and we just need to know that as we quietly pray or cry or get angry, you know, God does hear our prayers. And through this past year, year and a half, and uh, through other challenges in life, throughout our life, we just need to know that God is there for us. You know, that God is there, God is our hope, God is our strength. And when we know that, we can sing the praise of God. When we know that we can feel God's presence or, and that God has sort of upheld us in those darkest times, we can, as it says in verse eight, let my mouth be full of your praise and your glory all the day long. So seek God in times of need, seek God in times of struggle, but also make sure that we also praise God for doing the many things that sometimes we don't even notice until we sort of step back and reflect on it and pray about it. That yeah, God has been with us. God has been our refuge. God has been our strength. God has helped set us free. God has helped deliver us from those who have um, sometimes tried to wear us down. So yes, let my mouth be full of your praise and your glory all the day long. Nice to see some of you uh, from up in the Toronto and Lindsay area watching. Great to have you with me this morning. It's uh, a beautiful morning here in Southern Ontario, Southern Ontario, sorry, Southern Arizona. Uh, it's only it's just over 60 degrees or about 17 uh, celsius this morning nice and cool but it's going up to over 100 degrees uh, later on today anyway have a great day and i'm glad to hear that uh, in 
Ontario, speaking of Ontario, that some of the restrictions are starting to loosen up. So it's great. Keep those vaccinations going, everyone, regardless of wherever you're watching from. Make sure you get your, your shots and uh, let's get through this pandemic. Let's just finish off with a little prayer. Holy God, be our strength and our salvation that we may never be ashamed to praise you for your mighty acts. We ask this through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Have a great day and I'll see you next week.